Question 27 is an extension again of the, of the previous two, which is, could I use a battery? Will that help me with my heat pump? And of course, each of these technologies is a little step towards self-sufficiency. So if you take a battery, and we'll take a typical example, um, which is the Tesla, a very popular model at the moment. A Tesla Powerwall contains 13 and a half units of electricity or 13 and a half kilowatt hours of electricity. So let's assume that that battery is full up every day, whether you make that electricity from, from PV up on the roof or you're using some of these ultra low cost tariffs at night to fill that battery up. What I thought I'd do is look at a very typical three bedroom house in the UK and see how many days of the year you use less than 13 and a half kilowatt hours of electricity to drive your heat pump. And you can see in this little table here that actually once you get into the spring times from sort of April, May, June and so on, the battery can supply more than 100% of your heat pump's needs. So actually six months of the year, that battery could actually drive your heat pump all the time, of course, even at night. Once you get into the winter periods, sort of October, November, December, January, February, of course the energy use is much, much higher and the heat, the battery will help, but it can't provide all of your electricity. You will still get a bill in the winter time, but a battery definitely extends that free or low cost period um, that you get from using PV systems. <laughs>